What's up, freaks and geeks? Welcome back to Low Res DIY. So we're going to continue on with the uh, start of the uh, of the app train, I guess we'll call it. I don't know. And we're going to go ahead and install MB, which is a uh, like one-stop shop for all your media, for your movies, your TV shows, your music, all that stuff. One nice little spot to where you can access it, you can organize it make life a little bit easier on you now full disclosure i've never really used mb uh i'm a plex guy but i've already got a movie on or a video on plex so i figured what the hell let's go ahead try something new this is gonna be a complete really a complete first look for me at mb and uh well let, enough bullshitting around and chit chatting let's go ahead and get to it All right, once you get logged in, we're going to go down to apps. And there's our two friends from the last video, uh, NetData and Qubit Torrent. So available application. You, there's Plex. If you'd rather do Plex, the initial first steps are going to be pretty much the same. So we're going to do MB, though. So let's go ahead and install it. We're going to right click and we're going to copy the name down. You can type it in if you want. I'm, I'm lazy, you know, so I'm just going to copy it. Server configuration, we're just going to hit next. We're going to hit next. Now storage, we are going to pick the storage that we created, uh, the data set we created last time, which was media. We want to copy that guy and throw him up there. Or again, you can just, you know, forward slash type media, whatever. I'm lazy. So next, scale upgrade policy, next. Okay, so your resource reservations basically it's your gpu if you have a uh uh a discrete gpu i believe is what it's called and you click on this guy it will be an option for you down there down here i don't have that on this uh server on this test machine it's a, a built-in graphics to the motherboard so it doesn't give me that option but if you want to utilize that video card for uh transcoding video transcoding hardware transcoding you would choose it it would just basically say allocation one nvidia instead of zero and you would just click one and it would dedicate that video card to your mb server and uh uh transcoding we're going to click next though because we don't have that next and now we're going to save the information it'll go through the process of uh installing it and everything so we go over here to click install it's deploying web portal i want to check out the net data because again i'm i'm impatient and remember my choices later I, just so we don't have to keep clicking that and you can see it's downloading it right now so while it does that you need to go ahead and chill out be like me maybe pop another beer or Go get some ice water or tea or whatever, you know, floats your boat and uh, wait for it to install. Okay, that took a couple, uh, four, five, six minutes or so, not very long. Let's go ahead and click, click on web portal. And we are greeted with this splash screen. So preferred display language. Let's go ahead and pick English, United States. For me, you pick whatever you, uh, whatever floats your boat, whatever works for you. Next, uh, create your first user. Let's go ahead and make a user of low res and give it a password. Sure. And click next. Uh, set up media library. All right. So let's do that content type it's movies that i have click on plus for folders and media and there's the movies that i threw in there and what's this shared network folder nope i don't have one so let's just click ok media library settings uh download language for me it's english again country united states preferred image download language let's put that in english for myself <laughs> uh 
uh, enable real-time monitoring sure metadata readers nfo okay that that works for me movie metadata download is there anything else we want to change look at that they thought of everything there my god I allow adult metadata whoa risk a yeah that all looks good to me let's click ok looks like it created a library for us let's click next preferred metadata language we set that up prior configure remote access sure let's let's go ahead and allow that please accept the terms i accept next uh you're done that's all we need to know and we'll click finish and okay so let's uh let's log in okay and it's already pulling up the uh, metadata for the movies that uh, were in my little directory there I'm just kind of curious no it doesn't look like it's doing anything over here so what all do we have okay we got a sidebar menu here home that's your home page of course my me media so that's the media the movies that we just added metadata manager playlist i guess you can set up a playlist and a uh, collections if you have collections that's that's pretty cool what if i click on movies and boy look at that there's some super cool stuff up on this guy now if you're looking at these uh movies and you know what they are and you enjoyed them from your youth uh yeah it might be time for you to go see the doctor and uh get that test that none of us guys want to have nasty but you're probably that old man what do we got up here okay i guess that's for rem remoting your your data to a tv or something like that so if you're like looking at it on your phone you decide you want to watch a movie you can throw it up on your tv if it, everything is hooked up through the same network search and your accounts and let's go ahead and click on settings see what we have there uh, your display you can set up different information uh, theme yeah dark why 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 are we so bright how do I if I slow nope how do I save that I don't need MB Com Premiere oh it was in dark mode it's, I guess it doesn't affect the uh, the settings though that's kind of kind of weird it doesn't affect that page uh settings theme ah there we go we click on dark does is there an, a save option or if i hit refresh it stays there i wonder if there's a save option over here hmm well that's a little squirrely screen saver sure let's uh Let's go ahead and, and use their logo. That works for me. Primary image blur. Home screen. Did it just kick in? Oh, it just kicked in. So you don't have to save it. It just took a little while for it to kick in. Home screen. My media. Yeah, I want to see that there. Home screen section 2. Continue watching. That That's awesome. So you can set up your different menus of what you want on your home screen. That's pretty nice quick and easy setup playback your audio your video subtitles you can set it any language huh so let's i thought we set that up in the original setup but i guess not english subtitle mode you got smart only no subtitles i'm good with that for right now text size wow that's that's awesome that you can and boy this seems to get really granular i didn't don't know if i had that option in uh plex i don't think so password your profile information keyboard remote dashboard okay no you can shut it off what's our settings here preferred display language cache path auto update allow the server to restart automatically that's all up to you users we only have one mb premiere i like i said i don't have it i i might get it because this is looking pretty pretty nice all right so libraries this is where you can add another library what's advanced date added behavior 
uh, for new content. Okay, it's just nothing, nothing major in there. So if we click on this and we had another library, we could add it. This is this is pretty nice. I kind of like this live TV. Well, let's see what happens here. HD home run detective ice. Oh, okay. I guess this is like uh, Implex. You, you can put a uh, a card in there to capture your antenna data and, and play it on Plex. I'm assuming this is the same thing. What else we got? Networks. LAN network. I'm not going to mess with any of this stuff because that was already set up in uh, when we installed it in TrueNAS scale. Transcoding. Uh, enable hardware acceleration uh, when available. Sure. Acceleration set guide. Uh, this feature requires active MB Premier. So it's just the same as Plex. You got to have an account to actually use the hardware uh, acceleration. But I mean, honestly, let's think about this. How many people are going to be hitting this server at the same time? I know I've shared uh, my Plex server with, I don't know, 15, 20 different people. But in reality, oh, almost foamed over there. In reality, there might be two, maybe three people hitting the server at the same time. They're not all requiring uh, hardware acceleration or hard hardware transcoding. So really, realistically, I don't need it. You probably don't either, but who knows? Maybe, you know, like I got four friends. Maybe you have five or six. I don't know. So you can set all your transcoding up. Database. Uh, there are advanced options and should generally be left as default. Okay, so so proceed at your own uh, risk. Conversions. No downloads found. Cinematic intros. Sure, let's do that. Enable intros for movies and episodes. Internet trailers. I don't need that stuff. Open subtitles, webhooks, devices. Okay, so I've only accessed it through uh, this Windows machine. I would imagine if I access it through my phone, Android or Apple, whichever, it will will uh, add those to our, our uh, devices here. Downloads. No downloads found. Create download jobs using the download button found throughout the apps. Hmm. I wonder what's our settings here. Temporary file path, upload speed, transcoding thread, count, downloads. Hmm. Boy, I think I'm going to have to look into this a little farther. It looks pretty interesting. Camera uploads. I assume the camera I'm using. Yeah, if I told it the path, it would utilize that camera. DLNA. Huh, enable DLNA. Plan. Yeah, nothing I'm gonna worry about. Logs for if you have a problem, notifications, plugins. Oh wow. So you can you got different plugins you can can throw in here. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to jump in the into MB a little farther and uh give it a shot, I think. Schedule task application, uh rotate log files, download and Conversions, libraries, uh, missing subtitles. Wow, this is pretty nice. API keys, I'm sure you, you uh, can get one for, I don't know, maybe sonar, radar, LIDAR, whichever one of those guys you want to use, or if you're using couch potato or jacket or something like that. Metadata manager, nothing I'm going to fool with. So if we click back on home, everything's there. Let's see if we've got... All right, well, I'm going to end it here because really I kind of thought this would just be a throwaway video as far as, hey, we're going to show you how you can access your media, which will lead us into the next video of... Uh, I was going to use radar as the next video, but I don't know. We'll see what happens next. And we would build off of it from there. But after looking at MB a little bit and everything, it kind of, you know... 
surprised me. I kind of liked it. I found it interesting or I found it interesting. You know, it's kind of like way back when, when you went on that first date with that, that guy or gal and you just weren't sure about it and everything. And you're, you're hanging out and as the, the night that's going on, you're like, yeah, I kind of dig this, uh, this person, this other, other being there. And, uh, I want to know a little bit more about them. So that's kind of where I ended up with MB. I, I, I want to check it out a little bit further. I really like the user access, the settings, all that type of stuff. So, you know, hey, MB, call me. Give me a call. Maybe we work something out. But if not, no big deal. So we're going to end this here. Look forward to probably a couple more MB videos and, and definitely sonar, radar, all that stuff I've been talking about uh, the last two videos. And uh, if this is uh, something you like, go ahead and karate chop that like button, roundhouse kick that subscribe button, and check you later.